Yeah. Yeah, as far as ghost ships go, it wasn't the scariest I'd ever been on, but it certainly wasn't a fun house. I know my being back here hasn't made things easy for you. Oh, no. It's true. But I can see that you're struggling, and I want to help. I want to make things better for you. I know you do. Well, then try me. What, what do you mean? Talk to me. I promise I'm, I'm a heck of a lot wiser than whoever that guy was that landed here a year ago. Just try me. Try me. I'm a much better listener. I feel badly that I couldn't get through to Rain. I saw humanity in her. I had got a glimpse of it, and I should have been able to reach it. And maybe if I did reach it, Leslie would still be alive. Yeah, I know the feeling. Leading people into battle and not bringing them home. It's hard. No kidding. But for what it's worth, you might not have gotten through the rain. But I mean, Livewire, she's... She was as bad as they come. And you got through to her. You, you, you gave her something to fight for, to, to sacrifice for. You changed her heart for the better. That's, I mean... That's amazing. You did that without the yellow sun. That was all you. <laughs> what? Wow, your advice actually makes sense now. I think I'd actually follow it. There's <laughs> a logical progression. <laughs> that sounds Comes like... to a point at the end. <laughs> 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 and, you know, speaking of glass half full stuff, that Kryptonian priestess gave you some information about the world killers. That's not for nothing. Yeah. Yeah, she did. She called them purity and pestilence. So now all we have to do is find them before rain does. <laughs>